Hey guys, what's up? Russ here. So, about a year ago, I did a series of videos called my entire comic book collection. I split them up into seven or eight different videos. And I showed off my comic book collection, one series at a time. I think I'm going to do that again. I'm going to start with a few wall books here. Action Comics 1000, signed by Dan Jurgens. It's an awesome Superman print. Shout out to Lindsay for that. And shout out to Bub's Comics for this awesome uh, Superman issue 78, signed by Dan Jurgens. Now let's move on to the other wall. Alright, I got the Reign of Superman set. The entire storyline. Which, this book here, if you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that that was my very first comic ever that kicked off the collection. And I've got the entire Reign of Superman set up on the wall here. Along with a few other books. A few other Superman titles. This awesome glow-in-the-dark cover here. Got Superman Forever, which was actually the last comic I bought when I quit collecting for almost 15 years or so. I've got this sweet 9.8 white pages, Superman 75, signed by Dan Jurgens. Okay, I've got one entire short box on this shelf. Let's get started. Starting off with Action Comics 1, the reprint of course. We've got Super, the Superman 3, the movie adaptation. We've got another version of Superman 3, the movie adaptation. This was actually a gift from Lindsay. And it's got a sweet cover on the back as well. We've got Super... Uh, uh, <laughs> We've got Superman 279 with a sweet Batgirl cover. Got Superman 286. Got Superman 288. I'm going to try to run through these as quickly as possible as to not make this a super long video. Got Superman 291. Got Superman 295. Action Comics 458. Action Comics 468. Action 469. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, action. Um, not sure of the issue. Oh, 483. And on the back, we've got 488. These next few are actually a part of a contest win, along with that one from uh, Silverhead Bronze Age Babe. Uh, issue 486 and 487. We got Superman 333, awesome Bizarro cover. We got Superman Presents the Krypton Chronicles, issue 1. We got Superman 3. 86 Superman 416 actually got a couple of these a couple of those we got Superman 4 set 419 we got action comics 556 I actually have a double on that too I didn't realize we've got Superman 1 we've got Superman 1 we've got Superman 2 we've got Superman 2 Glitch in the Matrix 
another Superman 2. We've got Superman 3 with a sweet dark side cover. We've got Superman 7. We've got Action Comics 584. We've got Adventures of Superman 424, which I believe is the where they changed it from Superman to Adventures of Superman, if I'm not mistaken. One of my favorite covers there. And out of order, awesome, we've got another Action Comics 584. Didn't know I had a double with that one. They got Action Comics 588, Sweet Hawkman and Hawk Girl cover. We got Action 589, Adventures of Superman, issue 431, another sweet cover. We've got Man of Steel number one, Man of Steel number one, Man of Steel number one, Man of Steel number two. Man of Steel number two. Man of Steel number three. Man of Steel number four. Man of Steel number four. We got Man of Steel number five. Man of Steel number six. Man of Steel number six. That's an awesome miniseries, by the way. John Byrne. We got Adventures of Superman 448. Another one of my favorite covers in the collection, Superman 22. We've got Superman 25. I believe that was a Mixopitalic storyline. Could be wrong. Been a while since I read it. We've got issue 32 here with Mongo. We've got a sweet booster gold cover. Action Comics issue 594. Got another Action Comics issue four, 596. Sweet Spectre on Sweet Spectre cover. Got an awesome George Perez, Action Comics 643, homage to Action Comics issue 1. Got Action Comics issue 644. Got Action Comics 648. We've got Action Comics 653. We've got Action Comics 654. Action Comics 657. We have Action Comics 662. The Identity Revealed. That's an awesome issue. I believe there's a couple different printings and printings of that one. I'm not sure which printing that is. I've got Action Comics 663. Got Superman 54. Got Superman 55. Okay, and before I get into the second stack, I do have Superman issue 50. I forgot to put it in order. This was a recent AOK -okay from Trix Comics. Alright, let's get started with stack number two here. Have Man of Steel issue two. We've got Superman issue 59, one of my all-time favorite covers here. We've got Superman issue 60, another awesome cover. We've got Superman and Action Comics issue 671. We've got Man of Steel issue 6. 
We've got Superman issue 62. We've got two copies of that one. And we have Adventures of Superman 485. We have an annual here. Action Comics Annual 3. We have Man of Steel Annual 1. Got Superman Annual 3. Superman issue 65. Got Action Comics 678. Got Man of Steel issue 13. Adventures of Superman 492. Adventures uh, 493. Man of Steel 15. Superman 71 Got Action Comics 682 Ah, the first Doomsday, baby Man of Steel, issue 18 I believe that's a first print, but I'm not 100% sure We've got Superman, issue 74 We have Adventures 497. We have Man of Steel 19. Got a couple copies of that one. And the polybagged Superman 75. Just recently picked this up. It was either December or January. I can't remember which one. We've got another Superman 75. This one is the fourth printing. We got Adventures 498, getting into the funeral for a friend story. We have Action Comics 685. Awesome Supergirl cover there. Nice homage to Superman 1. We got Man of Steel issue 20. Superman 76 Got Adventures 499 Got Action 686 Got Man of Steel 21 We've got Superman 77 Got the Poly Bag Adventures of Superman 500. We got another Adventures of Superman 500. We have another Adventures of Superman 500. We've got Action 687. We've got Superman 78. Got Man of Steel 26. And again, you saw the uh, the entire Reign of Superman collection up on the wall. We've got Superman issue 82. Love that cover. That 90 shiny goodness. Speaking of some shiny goodness, got Adventures 505. Fireworks, baby. We've got another Adventures 505. I believe this originally came polybagged with this postcard. I could be wrong though because I bought this at the flea market and it just it had that card with it. We've got Action 692. That Man of Steel 27. Superman 83. We got Adventures 506. We got Action 693. 
We've got Superman 84. We've got Adventures 507. We've got another copy of that. We've got Action Comics 694. This was another one uh, I picked up from the Silverhead Bronze Age Babe um, contest win. It's Leg Legacy of Superman Issue 1, actually signed by Kurt Swan. The nice little photo of him, of him on the back actually signing the book. And this is my regular copy, unsigned. I've had this one for probably since it came out. We got Bloodlines, issue five, annual five. We've got Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey, issue one, or book one, and book two. I could have sworn I had book three, but I don't know what happened to it. But I do have the trade of that, so yeah, I got them all one way or another. We got Man of Steel, issue twenty nine. Got Superman 85. Got a couple copies of that one. Got Adventures 508. Got Action Comics 695. Got Man of Steel issue 30. And I believe this is also Man of Steel issue 30. Now this is another one I got at the flea market. And I think the original came polybag. And it came with like little decals where you could have a do-it-yourself cover. Those were not included into this because, well, flea market buy. You get what you can get. Got Man of Steel issue 31. Got Superman issue 87. Got Adventures 510. Got Action Comics 697. Got uh, Man of Steel issue 32. And we got Superman 88. That was an awesome Bizarro storyline. Now let's get into box two. Alright, we got Man of Steel issue 33. Got Superman. 89. And no, Rob Liefeld did not draw him. This was actually part of a storyline where he absorbed too much power and Parasite had to try to drain him. Adventures 512. Got Man of Steel 34. Got Action Comics issue 700. Got Adventures 514. We got World Collide, Man of Steel, issue 29. Not issue 29. Uh, I don't know. Issue something. We got Action Comics, issue 702. We got Man of Steel, issue 0. One of the Zero Hour crossovers. Got Man of Steel 38. Superman 94. Man, I got too many Superman books. <laughs> got Adventures 517. Got Action 704. Man of Steel 39. Superman 95, Adventures 518, got Action 705, got another annual in the mix, Man of Steel Annual 4, got Adventures of Superman 
Annual 6. It's an Elseworld story. And this is part 2 of that story, Superboy Annual 1. And this is just, I highly recommend this read. It is a fantastic Elseworld story, one of my all time favorites. This is another good one, Superman Annual 6. I wish they would bring the Elseworld stories back. I love those for DC. Almost as much as I love the Marvel What If storylines. We got Man of Steel issue 40. We've got Superman 96. We got Adventures 519. We got Superman 97. We got Superman 98. Love that cover. Superman 99. Got Adventures 522. We've got Action 709, which is an homage cover to 688. Got Man of Steel 44. And we've got Superman 100, The Death of Clark Kent. Another pretty cool storyline. Of course, I'm partial to the 90s. We got Adventures 523. We got Action 710. We got Man of Steel 45. Got Superman 101. Still part of that same Death of Clark Kent storyline. Same with this one, Adventures 524. Got Action Comics 711. And I believe that was the conclusion of the Death of Clark Kent story. We've got Men of Steel 46. Doing his best Goldberg impression. Another awesome cover here. We got Superman 102, Cyborg and Black Adam. And another one of my all time favorite covers in the collection Adventures of Superman, issue 525, Go Soups. Man, I really need to find me a Lois Lane sometime. Got Man of Steel, or Man of Tomorrow, issue one. Got Action Comics, 712. Got Man of Steel, 47. Got Superman, 103. Got Adventures 526. We've got Action 713. We've got Man of Steel issue 48. Cool little Aquaman crossover. We've got Superman 104. Got Adventures 527. Awesome, awesome Joker cover here in Action Comics 714. Got Man of Steel 49. Got Superman issue 105 crossing over with Kyle Reiner, Green Lantern. Got Adventures 528. And here's the start of another cool storyline Trial of Superman in Man of Steel, issue 50. We have Superman 106. Got Adventures 
529. Got action 716. Got Man of Steel issue 51. Absolutely love this cover. Got Superman issue 107. We've got Adventures 530. We've got The Man of Tomorrow, Issue 3, which I believe is the conclusion to the Trial of Superman storyline. We've got, uh, huh, didn't I already show this one? I think this might have been in the other box, I'm not sure. Man of Steel Annual 4. Yeah, Superman Annual 7. Oh no, we got more trial issues. How those annuals get mixed in there? Huh. Trial of Superman in Action Comics 717. Man of Steel 52. Man, that trial went uh, went longer than I remember. Got Superman 108. Might have to reread the storyline soon. Got Adventures 531. Now this one, yep, the trial is over. All right, that's the conclusion. Awesome Spectre cover in this Man of Steel issue 54. Ruh -ruh. The engagement is off. Action Comics 720. Well, spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure they ended up working it out. Though you can't really tell from this cover. Superman 112. Got Action 722. Man of Tomorrow, Issue 5. We've got Superman, Issue 117. There you go. If you're watching, Bub, there's just some nice little uh, a detailed rope there in the corner. Got Man of Steel 62. Got Superman 118. Action 728. Got Man of Steel 63. That was in my log. Got Superman 119, Power Struggle, another great storyline from the 90s. Got Adventures 542, got Action 729, got Man of Steel 64. Here is the final, final stack of Superman books, I promise. Man, this is going to be a long video, and I absolutely commend anyone that's actually stuck with it this long or makes it to the end. Uh, Man of Tomorrow, Issue 7. As my average view time on a three-minute video, which is what I usually do, is only like a minute and a half, <laughs> I do commend anyone that sticks around for the whole thing. That's Superman 120. Got Action Comics, 730. And if you have stuck around this long, we've got Man of Steel issue 65. Don't forget about the giveaway I'm currently running. I just did an update on it a few videos ago. Go check that out if you haven't entered yet. Superman 121. 
We got Action Comics 731. We got Superman 122. Inner Gang is back. Adventures 544. We have Adventures 546. I do have the first appearance of the electric costume. You guys saw it up on my wall. Okay, we've got Superman in Action Comics 733. We've got Superman in Action Comics 735. Terrifying cover there. <laughs> we've got Superman the Man of Tomorrow issue 9. We've got Adventures of Superman 551. We've got Superman Red and Superman Blue 3D. We've got Superman 132. We've got Adventures of Superman Red vs. Blue 555. We have The Man of Tomorrow, Issue 10. I did not know I had a double of that one. We have Superman Blue in Action Comics 742. Kind of rhymes. And we've got Superman Red, Man of Steel, Issue 77. Cool little connecting cover there. We've got Superman issue 133, got Adventures 556, we've got Action Comics 743, we've got the beginning of the Millennial Giant storyline, which was awesome in my opinion, we've got Man of Steel 78. And all these covers are connecting. It goes like it's huge, dude. I can't even put it on camera. I got Superman 134. Adventures 557. Action 744. Command of Steel 79. And there are some other issues of that. Uh, they did a crossover with the Challengers of the Unknown. They did one with Aquaman, and they did one with Steel. I have those issues, but they're just with their respected books. Superman 135. I have Man of Steel 84. I have Man of Steel 89. And if I'm not mistaken, all these books after the Millennial Giants for quite a while were AOKs from uh, Tim the Comic Collector. Got Superman 3D number one. Because I didn't collect after Millennial Giants until probably 2015, 2016, somewhere in there. I got Superman. Um, I'm not sure of the issue. I don't see it on it. Uh, okay, it says issue one. I'm assuming maybe this was a one shot. We got Superman 177. We got Superman 1 million. I've got Legends, issue one. I love the painted art style on these covers on these. I've got issue two. And, huh. Oh, yep, yeah, there's issue three. It got out of order there. I started to say, man, where's my issue three at? <laughs> Then we go to Adventures of Superman 574. I actually did this, uh, this was one of my random read episodes. I 
I've got Superman Lex Luthor issue 4-4 four, four. I've got Adventures 636 awesome cover on that one I've got a cool little Alex Ross cover here Superman 680 Crypto I've got Superman 707 Another awesome cover. We've got Action Comics 761. We've got Superman Unchained, issue one. This is a new 52 story. We've got Action 47. Again, new 52. We've got Superman. 34, part of the new 52 as well. We've got All Star Superman. We've got a couple of these. We've got Superman 52. We got Superman Rebirth number one. Another number one. I think this one was a one shot and the other was the actual number one. It's kind of confusing how they did that. They came out with two number ones in the Rebirth storyline for a bunch of books. Cash grab. We got Action Comics 1001. We've got Superman 1, signed by Brian Michael Bendis. This is back when I liked Bendis. <laughs> and this was actually the very first signed comic I ever purchased. We've got uh, another Superman 1. This was the variant cover. And I have two of those because one I purchased and one was in, uh, part of an ALK from Lindsay. I've got Superman number two, and if I'm not mistaken, this is an Adam Hughes cover. I could be wrong though, because he usually puts the AH somewhere on the cover, and I'm not seeing that. So I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. We have Man of Steel issue one. Issue 2. This was a 6 issue mini. And again, this was by Bendis. And this is, uh, I really enjoyed this storyline. I think this is where Bendis came in on the 6 issue mini. And he killed it. It was a great storyline. I have no idea what happened to him after that. <laughs> There's issue 6. Action Comics 1008 and I have the variant on this as well because I just I absolutely love this variant cover so I had to buy it and I didn't see it until I had already purchased the regular cover like the next day I went into the shop again and I saw this one and I just I couldn't leave it there one of my all-time favorite Superman covers We have 1007. Somehow it got out of order again. That drives me crazy. We've got Man and Superman, which was a really good read. I enjoyed this one quite a bit. It's sort of a retelling of his origin story. And we got Superman 17. This is where I first came back on the Bendis run. I gave up on it, but it was killing me not collecting Superman, being a Superman fan, so I really tried to get back into the Superman books. I got 17, 18, 
at 19. And then I just gave up on it again because the story was absolute garbage. <laughs> and I just couldn't justify buying it just for buying its sake. So, yep. Wow, that light is bright. That's it for the Superman collection. Tune in next week where I'll be going over my X-Men collection. Till then, peace guys. What did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000!